So because of Christianity demolished the garbage of Muhammad. You see, when Jesus came to this earth, he promoted peace and love. What Muhammad he promote? Penises. If you don't kill your neighbors, Allah will make your penis endless. And your wife vagina will fit for that. That's religion. The second you slaughter somebody, your name is written in the heaven of Allah. Is that what God is about? We get rewarded by killing each other? Just because a person he don't want to believe in Muhammad? Same time, you will not find one Muslim he knows what he's talking about. In fact, all the religion of Islam have zero knowledge of Islam. If a Muslim call me, I promise you, in less than a few seconds, he will not be able to tell me what Islam is about. And I can prove it to you. Who is a Muslim would like to call me right now? Let me open Skype. Any Muslim? My Skype is open. Only if you are a Muslim, text me. Text me and tell me I'm a Muslim, I will call you. Don't tell me hello, just tell me I'm a Muslim. I would like to join. I challenge you, Muhammadans. I challenge your God. I challenge your false prophet. I challenge your false Quran. You have no knowledge of your own religion because you don't have a religion. This is why even your scars, even though they are called the scars, they have no answer for anything. They are scars about what? Ice cream. Brother Fitter, our Fitter not can quote him. Is it lawful to eat ice cream? First of all, Fitter, if ice cream is coming from halal food, we can eat it. If the ice cream is coming from pork, we can eat it. That's a scholar. That is a scholar. Can we eat ice cream? Another guy he called, he says, he was having sex with his wife. And then a drop of milk fell in his mouth. So he's worried now she become his sister. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? The guy having 10 kids from her, he had sex 1,000 million times with her, and now a drop of milk came from her nipples in his mouth. He is worried she become his sister. This is how stupid this cult is. This is what their scholars are busy with. The second you ask them a serious question, they have no answer. Ask them silly questions. Can we celebrate Christmas? Haram, brother, haram. Uh, can I wear uh, shoes or not halal? Have you ever heard of halal shoes? Even shoes have to be halal. That's what they are busy with. For they are empty, for they are false, for they are corrupt, for they have no God. So they start getting busy about shaving the vagina and taking hair from there. Hey, sister, did you shave your vagina? The prophet, he said, if a Muslim man going back to his house after traveling, he shall not enter his house at night. They asked, that's what they are busy with. For the sheikh life on TV, they said to him, why? I mean, what, what the man will do? He spend the night in a hotel? He said, brother, Prophet Muhammad, he did that out of mercy. Allah told him to tell you that out of mercy. The host on the TV says, what do you mean? He said, what if you come home and you find somebody in the bed with your wife? This is Islam. So Prophet of Allah saying to you, send a messenger to your wife, tell her that I will be there tomorrow. If you don't believe me, go check it out. A Muslim man, he have to tell his wife a day in advance before he come back from trouble. If you go home and you find your wife with the bed, in the bed with someone and you have no four witnesses, what you can do, you will live with it, that's it. To avoid the embarrassment, you cannot enter the house at night. What if she has somebody? 